Yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to a new episode of the Indiana Pacers My GM series. We, uh, we ended the last episode looking at trades and uh, looking at trades pretty much for the boy Monte Ellis. He's a guy that uh, we, we're paying him a bit. We're paying him a bit of money. Uh, $10 million and it just goes up and up and up and up. And then he's on that $11.69 million contract on a player option so he can decide if he wants to come back or not in 2018. The, I don't know about I don't know about keeping Monte Ellis anymore, all right? And a lot of you guys in the comment section uh, were telling me to trade him. So, I got my phone out. I got my phone out right now. And I was uh, I was looking at some comments that you guys uh, that you guys wrote in the comment section about plays that you think I should get. So, number 1, um, I'll try and get it on the camera. If I can, I don't know if it'll focus, but I think it will. It's a pretty good camera, it should be able to focus. Um, anyway, it says trade Monte Ellis for Derrick Rose. Make Derrick Rose like a play that he used to be, so like an MVP type player, make him have a fresh start. I don't know if you can see it. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Avery Bradley, I don't know if that will, if that will focus, but uh, an Avery Bradley trade. So, let's look at some trades. Uh, first off, for D Rose. No, let's look at Avery Bradley first, because Avery Bradley, is he on a one-year contract? Um, I don't know if he is, but let's take a look real quick. I don't know if the computer, well, I, don't know, I don't know why it's making so much noise. But he's not even on a one-year contract. He is just, um, he's just a, a player that uh, you guys obviously want me to get. Um, George Hill, CJ Miles, Miles Turner. All right, so let's offer a trade um, for Monte Monte Ellis. Now, what would happen here? Wow, it's just not going to happen, man. It's just not like one and a half stars. That's what he's worth to the Celtics, and he's worth like you, you can choose any team, but the Bulls. He's worth two stars to the Bulls. So, ah oh, man, I mean, we can try going for Avery Bradley. Um, but it's just not gonna happen. Like, it, it won't happen. Um, let's try giving up. This is it's not gonna happen. All right, it's not gonna happen. Um, because I don't want to give up Paul George, obviously. Uh, as of now, I don't want to give up the manimal. Plus, the man was not worth... Is anybody worth anything? Okay, two star for CJ Miles. But none of these guys are actually worth anything to the to the Celtics right now. Apart, apart from Miles Turner, but he's a guy that I'd like to keep. So, um... Yeah, I don't think that there's going to be any trades for... Um... For Avery Bradley involving Monte Ellis, unfortunately, but... Yeah. Um... But obviously the next guy, there was actually a few trades, um, oh he's injured, damn man, my colony's injured, because this one that, I mean his shooting stats actually aren't very good, but he's driving layups decent, and we know about his ball handling, and how about his defense, it's pretty good, 85 pick and roll defense, but we can't even get Mike Conley anyway. Um, so the next guy was obviously Derrick Rose, now Derrick Rose, he's interesting because he can't shoot at all but we know about that athletic ability but in 2k he only has an 83 layer he does have the good ball control and and his hands are, but what does hands do in 2k like does it actually do anything i don't know about that what i do like about d roots is obviously the speed acceleration vertical is really really high um i reckon i reckon we try D Rose out, but the problem is, I reckon we try Derrick Rose out. Now, for all the guys that don't want me to trade Monte Ellis for D Rose, I can understand why. D Rose is on a it's on a much bigger contract than Monte Ellis. The thing about D Rose is that he's 27, Monte Ellis is 30. They both can't shoot. Like, they both have the same standing shot three. I guess Monte has a 77 mid-range and D-Rose has, has only a 66. 
But Derrick Rose makes up for it with his, you know, athleticism and his speed. Um, and obviously they play different positions. But I just don't want this contract by Monte Ellis for three years and on a player option. Whereas D Rose, he's on a, he's on a two year contract, and we can trade him if we don't like him. Whereas with Monte, we don't get as much back for Monte Ellis as we would get with Derrick Rose. So that's pretty much the rundown on what I want to do. But I still don't even know if we can make a trade go through because of the contract situation. Um, but let's say we will take... Why not? Why don't we just get like uh, just one of those guys that isn't worth anything, right? We will give you Lavoie Allen and Mike Miller. So we can free up some cat space. A little bit of cat space right here. Um, as you can see, a lot of our players don't have a lot of cat, uh, a lot of um, as a big salary. That's what I'm trying to say. So we have obviously Paul George on a pretty big salary. Kenneth, for what he does, a pretty big salary. But I, I, it's all, it's okay, I guess. George Hill, like <sighs> George Hill, will have to probably be. Do we run George Hill a backup? Like I think that's what we're gonna have to do. But I guess we'll have to see what happens, if, even if we can get this uh, trade to go through. Um, we'll take Tony Snell. And so then after that, we'll give you two second round picks. And what do you say to this? Wow! The trade's gone through! That's crazy to me, but trade's gone through, man. We got D. Rhodes. He's an Indiana Pacer. It's a fresh start, as the guy said in the comments. Um... Fresh start for Derrick Rose, teaming him up with Paul George and Kenneth Fareed. It's, it's a trade I am willing to have, and it moves George Hill to the backup point guard position. You know, it's going to be exciting playing with Derrick Rose. Um, D. Rose is a, definitely a good starter. Now, we're going to have to see how he plays and what his stat line is like and, and how he plays uh, you know, on the simulation side of things because, yeah. Now... I kind of want to uh, improve the team chemistry a little bit. Uh, it's it's at like a 61, I think? 62 team chemistry. So you can expect a few games that we're going to lose. Um, but I know that we just got rid of a power forward. That does mean that we can run Danny Grange at the power forward position. Now, Let's just play the uh, play the Detroit Pistons and let's see if we can get some wins. We're actually looking alright. We've got two games in a row, and of course we get into some some pause. It always happens, man. I just try and simulate a few games, and then it has to pause. All right. Um, scouting is looking okay, but you know I, I I'm not really too keen on the scouting at the moment. We actually no, we do have a good pick. Yeah, we have a pretty good pick. How, wait, I gotta, I gotta, we got three wins in a row? Four wins in a row? And Kenneth Fareed is happy. Okay, man. I'm happy I adjusted the training as well to team chemistry. I think, I think having good team chemistry makes a huge difference in my GM. Um, hey, I wanted to let you know that the game against the Nuggets really made me feel good about being here now. I'm thrilled to be a member of this team. Cuddle the player. He goes up to a hunter morale. Let's go, man. Let's go. And I can't even see because my headphones are in the way. We get a win up against Denver as well. I've got to move these. i got some new headphones, but like a headset thing, but I don't really... I'm not going to wear that. And, uh... Yeah. I might wear it for editing, I think, but... We, we're winning games now. Five in a row. This Derrick Rose trade, people. It's the Derrick Rose trade. I'm telling you. Monte Ellis, he wasn't winning us games. Now, i got to see Derrick Rose's stats, okay? i got to force... Okay. Let's pause this right now. Miles Turner, yeah, okay, I actually gotta change that because I made his training very, very high. Um, Miles Turner, yeah, you, you're gonna go down to a medium because you're exhausted right now. But for those that don't know, because well, you don't know because I, I haven't told anyone this, but I'm going away for about four days. So I gotta make four videos to schedule for the, for the four days that I'm away. So for whatever you guys post in the comment section, I won't be able to, like, know. Like, I'll read the comments, but I won't be able to change it up on 2K. So, like, if you comment, change someone's number in this episode, 
I won't, it won't be changed for the next four episodes because I'm not playing 2K. I've already played the games and stuff. And we are winning games right now. We're 28 and 18. Paul George is happy with his teammates. This Derrick Rose trade made us a whole ton better. And it's also because I increased the team chemistry. Called the player. Wow. You only went up? One? I coddled you, bro. Maybe he's not a coddle type of guy. Maybe he doesn't like the coddling. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to play up against the up against the Pistons. We lose to the Nuggets. I, I'm, get, I'm guessing we're going to lose to the Cavs. But what I'm going to do in the next MyGM episode, you're going to see a game up against the Pistons. Then you're going to see a... Oh, actually, i got to show you something. i got to show you something real, real quick. Really, really quick. Um, because, uh, well, I'll just deal with this really, really quick as well, actually. I'll scout Demetrius Jackson and all these guys right here. Don't even know how to say this guy's name. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'll scout you. Alright, now, I wanted to show you guys, um, on the straw poll on what you guys voted for. Because... Tony Allen, you know, he, he locked up a lot of people. Kobe Bryant said that's the hardest defender he ever had to play up against. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the straw poll right here. So, here you go. This, I don't know if you guys can see, I hope you guys can. But pretty much, you guys were saying that... You would like me to make a new team brand, but we stay in Indiana, and pretty much we make new team jerseys, new a new court, and all this good stuff. And I promise for all the guys that uh, that uh, are telling me make it a little bit better than agents, I I'll try my best, man. I don't think it'll be too hard. Bang, bang, shots fire right there. But uh, nah, me, me and agent, we we're cool, man. We, me and agent, we talk each other, and uh, I I'm not gonna lie. His jerseys, they're nice. <laughs> they're not great though. <laughs> but, um, nah, I'm, I like Agent. Agent Zero. If you guys don't know Agent Zero, great MyGM YouTuber. Check him out. But, um, I want to simulate right now. Come on, why, why does it take so long? Like, I literally spent about 20 minutes just simulating this thing right now. I just want to go. I, I wish it would just go quickly. Like, you just simulate, bang, simulate, bang, simulate, bang. Not just simulate, screen, thing, Di Di Isaac Davis, assistant GM, telling you a bunch of bullshit. Like, I don't care, Isaac Davis. And uh, me and Agent, we were talking about my GM the other day as well, and I was saying, you know, uh, he was saying, I was just saying, like, what, what, what do you think about my GM? And then uh, he asked the same thing, and I told him what I thought about my GM. And we might be doing a, uh, a wish list, um, or maybe not a wish list, but a my GM, like, review type thing video. We'll, we'll see what happens, but we're both going to be away anyway. Wow! Guys, look at this trade! Chris Bosch and Hassan White support... I just, I don't even know what I said about Hassan and Whiteside. I'm like, Hassan, I, I like put Hassan and Whiteside together. I'm like, how Whiteside? I don't even know what I said, but... Chris Bosch and Hassan and Whiteside put... I can no talk. I can no talk. Chris Bosch and Hassan and Whiteside for Paul George. And George Hill. I'm gonna take this trade. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wanted to see if I fooled anyone right there, but do we win against the Hawks? We lose. We lose to the Hawks. But now we're up against the Pistons, and the team is looking good. I'm gonna test out D Rose up against the Pistons. Then after that, we're gonna do a a, a rebrand video where we make some new jerseys just before the All Star break, which should be quite good. And uh, everyone seems pretty good. Where are we now in the conference? We are... It's, it's, it's the D-Rose. D-Rose. You guys can't even fault me on that D-Rose trade. Because we're winning games right now. We are 30 and 20 after being... I don't even know what our win streak is. But, I mean, look at this. Look at this. We were, we were losing... Ready, ready? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Ready? Starting from here... Lost, lost, win, lost, 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 win, lost, win, lost, lost, win, win, lost, lost. And then after the D Rose trade, it was win, 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 lost, win, win, lost. 
I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we're doing work right now. We're doing work. And hopefully the, the boy Drummond isn't injured. Ilya Sova's injured for them, but that's okay. We'll still play this game. So, we're up against Andre Drummond and the Detroit Pincers in the next episode. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.